all right so now we have saved the cart item and also we are able to redirect to the cart page right but the problem is uh, we are not taking anything uh, to the cart page we are just going blank right instead we need uh, in the cart page we need uh, the total and we need the product information and we need uh, the quantity and all those stuff right so that's why we need to uh, uh, modify this cart function so first of all let's take uh, the total set it to zero and the quantity set it to zero and the we need a, a product information right cart items uh, that is none now uh, so here let's make a try block and say cart is equal to cart dot objects dot get cart id will take the cart by cart id that is equal to underscore cart id with the request okay and next let's filter the cart items cart items is equal to cart item dot objects dot filter inside this filter we will be saying cart equal to cart and is active equal to true so this so this will bring all the cart items so we want to loop through all the cart items okay because we want to print all the uh, cart items right we want to also calculate all the uh, total and all the stuff so now let's say for cart item in cart items so here the first thing is the total right total is equal to total plus uh, that is equal to total plus uh, cart item dot product dot uh, price right price into cart item dot quantity so that uh, we get the total and the next one is we need quantity that is equal to uh, quantity plus a cart item dot quantity cart item dot quantity and let's uh, handle the accept block now accept sorry not like this accept so here Uh, object not exist we can just uh, ignore this one let's say pass because uh, we don't want to do anything if the object does not exist okay just ignore all right so now we need to pa uh, you know make the context dictionary so that we can pass uh, all these values to the cart template right context is equal to it is a dictionary and first of all let's pass the total total comma uh, quantity comma the cart items um what else now so that's it and pass this context to this uh, html template so here we are taking the cart object by cart id okay we got the cart here and uh, so here we got the cart items and we are looping through the cart items so that we can uh, take the uh, total of each uh, cart item and the uh, quantity also then we are uh, sending all the context to the html template okay so in the next lecture we will actually uh, use all these uh, data inside the uh, cart template okay thank you